we are given the gift of life and our whole purpose in life is to return to the kingdom of God. That's what stewardship is. And Father Capon was able to do that in incredible ways. And hopefully during this series, we'll be able to investigate that a little bit more, focusing upon four pillars. And those four pillars of stewardship will be part of how we are going to unfold this series in the course of this next 10 weeks. It was basically a miracle. They put me on a list on a Monday. And that Sunday night, I got the call from Mayo that they had the perfect match for me. And um, I needed to be up there in four hours. All of these people had things they wanted to do for us, whether it be set up a schedule to bring food over for my kids, um, take a turn watching my kids, and take a turn up there at Mayo Clinic. When you have that type of gratitude, you want to include them in every part of your life. You want to say, you know, you are now part of our family. I mean, when prayer is incorporated into one's life, just as when prayer is incorporated into the family, into the home, it changes things. It changes you individually, it changes your home, it changes your parish. You know, if you love someone, if you adore them, what do you do? You think about them. Uh, you ponder them. Uh, you want to know more about them. And when the, the object is God, that's something that we can never exhaust. So we, we came up with, uh, you know, we're going to get these kids to heaven. That, that's our goal. That's our priority. And, you know, the winds have taken care of themselves. And uh, I truly have a coaching staff that cares more about the kids than we do winning games. My time playing for him uh, for four years was a, a, an honor, and I look back on those times as some of the, the most enjoyable times uh, of my life, uh, for the football in part, uh, but also, more importantly, because I learned from a, a, a great man, a man who wanted to win, but always wanted to win because he had formed men to do things the right way. So many times we share with people here at the Lord's Diner and we come and we serve. And so many times I've heard people's stories that they got so much more out of the experience than that person that came in to have dinner. I think the vast majority of our volunteers change having come here. I think it's, it's one of those things that you realize that it's not somebody else, it's not you know, these aren't people on the streets, these are your neighbors, your friends, your, your family.